I'm Christine Bullock, and thank you so much for stopping back to my YouTube. This year I started a new series where I visit my top celebrity trainer friends and give you a little taste of their workouts. Today we're here with Romy Rivera, who owns Ballet Bodies in Los Angeles, and she's giving us a taste of her stretch class. Make sure you see our other workout that we've done, which is a, a lengthening and toning class. But today she's gonna take us through a stretch workout that I definitely come to do at least once a week with her, and it has really reconditioned my body to what I felt like in my teenage years and my 20s and what started to get kind of tight and, and uncomfortable in my 30s. So I highly recommend a good stretch class, and really they're starting to pop up a little bit more because people realize they need them. But she was the first. Get into it. Yes. All right, so we're actually gonna start right how we're sitting. Okay. Just cross-legged, nice and tall, feeling your sit bones reaching down, really trying to awaken the posture and the spinal movements here. So hands on your knees, you're gonna open your chest to the sky, we're gonna take a big inhale, arch your back, and we need to pull on your knees a little bit. And then exhale, you're gonna push the spine back, contract your abs, round it back. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, big yawn in the spine. And exhale, push it away. You can even stay rounded right here and kind of lean from side. And if anybody has a kid too, the opposite. Well, actually, this feels really good on your low back, mm -hmm. and then this one is like you're constantly like this. So it's, it's such a nice chest opener. All right, reaching out to the sides. Take a big inhale, posture up. As you exhale, place one elbow down. You're going to stretch the opposite arm, rounding through that hip. Length into that side, breathe into it. Really and push really down through that leg, yeah. Reach and place that elbow gently and stretch. You can even push into that forearm to help ground that opposite hip. Lengthening up and once again, over. And float it up and over. Reach, pushing through that forearm, getting that length. Lengthen up. Then we're gonna do one more time to that first side. This time we're gonna go around the world. So you're gonna reach and walk your hands across one another all the way to the other side, grounding that elbow. Open your chest, feel that side stretch. Lengthen up and then other direction. Up and over, ground, push through that forearm and then reach out. Walk all the way. Ground that elbow, push into it, open and then float it up all the way. And then soles the feet together, sitting up nice and tall, stretch your spine up. I'm a big fan of moving around during stretches, waking up all those different fibers. And if any of these moves feel really good, feel free to hold them or do an extra set if your body wants you to. And then let's just stretch it all the way down forward. Feel a little double hip stretch here. Kind of move around. You can drop your head, breathe into the back. Scooping your abs in always helps to get a deeper stretch. From here, you're gonna to walk to one corner of the room, cross that opposite hand over, breathe into that long side, pull your abs in, lengthen that waist, and then let's, let's walk over to the other corner. And I think, stretch. you know, you might really find after years of working out too, that one side is tighter. Or I have mm -hmm. scoliosis that's gotten worse as I've aged too, and so it's something that I really work on. And so you can stay a little longer on that tighter side. And then we're gonna walk back to the center. You can drop your elbows, hang your head, breathe into your back, and then just roll it up all the way. So from here, we're gonna extend one leg out to the side, we're gonna sit up really tall with our spine. Feel your chest open, smiling clavicles. You're gonna point and flex your foot a couple times. Mm, I love this. I mean, this move alone, we don't do this enough, and I've lost a lot of the feeling from all my ballet. Like, I feel like uh, you can see her really roll through the foot, and that's very important as you're walking throughout your day and just using your feet, we lose that movement and it just starts to transfer up the body. Yeah, all that fascia, it's all attached. Mm -hmm. You know, one part gets tight and it all connects into the next. From here, let's flex our foot. We're gonna reach out, inhale, lift your ribs, lengthen your waist, reach out, you're gonna grab a hold of your toe and take a side stretch. Now this might be too far, it's okay to place your hand on your ankle. You can also have a small towel handy. You can hook it on your foot and it'll connect you to, to your foot to be able to stretch to it if you can't reach your foot. And I can like feel myself cheating, like rolling forward. So really just try and pull that rib cage in and up a little bit and you'll really start to feel 
that side waist lengthen. So from here, we're gonna inhale, open a little bit, and then we're gonna round over towards this leg. Take your top hand underneath to the outside of that leg. You're gonna drop your head down between the arms. Really important to scoop your abs back to stabilize your pelvis, and really breathe into this low back waist. Oh my God, this is so good for your low back. And yeah. for someone who suffers from sciatica mm -hmm. and just super tight, this is one of the best stretches I've ever I love this out. one. Oh I always gosh. like to rock a little bit in this one. Put a little bit of movement and breath through it. Really opening up here. Wow, so good. Maybe the hand creeps a little further. If you're a little bit more flexible, you might even be able to grab the outer arch of your foot and you can go for that. From here, you're gonna reach and open back to a side stretch. Look towards the sky. You really wanna open it and then float it up. And then you're gonna switch legs. So let's bring this one in. Extend your opposite leg out. Sit up nice and tall on your sit bones. Open your chest, keeping your posture pointing and flexing through the foot. Open evenly through both hips while keeping the crown of your head nice and tall. Yeah, and the breathing, and like this is something that you can do like every Sunday. I make sure to take a little bit of time for myself and just do some stretches at home, take a bath, um, but this is total body care. As much as you want to work out, you need to take care of the opposite. And to be honest, I can still feel burned doing some of these because I'm toning all the little stability muscles. Whereas when I'm twisting through my waist, I'm still engaging my muscles. That's something that people lose in stretching all the time is that they passively go into the stretch instead of actively. So I'm pushing through my heel, I'm engaging my leg here, I'm drawing in my abs and lengthening through my entire core instead of just kind of like falling into this. And you'll get that much more out of it. It's great to do first thing in the morning or even last thing at night. Really any time of the day. Round it over, take that top hand and grab the outside of that leg. Little rock. Keep trying to pour your head over to your leg. Use your exhalations to release a little bit further, but always keep your abs engaged during these stretches. And then of course, opening back up into it, looking towards the sky and floating it up. Good. We're gonna bring that leg back in. From here, let's go ahead and turn to our sides. We're gonna extend our legs straight out in front of us. You can start by propping up on your fingertips, elbows looking back sitting up on your sit bones, and we're gonna just point our and flex our feet here. Yes, so we're really focusing on our posture here. The upper hamstrings get really tight from bad posture all day, sitting at computers or your desk or whatnot. So you really wanna think about reaching down through your sit bones, and you're trying to get your heart a little bit in front of those sit bones, so you're really creating that length through those upper hamstrings that get so tight. And it's so funny, even teaching Pilates, I think that a lot of people teach rounding so much here that it got so tight for me that going mm. to your class is something that helped me to work through and reopening through right. this again. It was very hard for me at first. Try and take your hands around your Still waist. <laughs> All right, so from here, we're gonna flex our feet. We're gonna hold our feet flexed. We're gonna use what I like to call a corset breath. So we're gonna take a really big inhale. You're gonna feel your natural corset tighten away from your fingertips while lifting your ribs. We're gonna hold that breath in. Take a really big inhale. Feel your waist tighten, hold it. Look to one side, stay lifted up, 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 up. And then exhale, release everything forward. We're gonna do that to the other side. Inhale, lift. Stretch up, lift your ribs, create that corset nice and tall, look to the opposite direction, stay up, 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 keep the energy lifting, and exhale, release. I mean, this is one of those things like you're burning, like I'm sweating it's hard. right now, it's very hard. Yeah, we're gonna do that one more time. And inhale, stretch it up, squeeze your sit bones, lift your pelvic floor, hold it up, 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 look to one direction, up, 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 up. And exhale, release. I even get some shaking going on when you really add all of that lift internally. One more time to that opposite side, inhale, lift. Squeeze, get that corset breath, hold, look to the left, hold, 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 up, 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 up. And exhale, release. Good, from there let's reach the arms back and up, stretch up to the sky. We're gonna fold forward. Once again, if you can't grab your toes, it's good to have a little towel handy. You can hook it onto your feet. Otherwise, grabbing your toes, reach your sit bones back, lift up into a flat back as best you can. Once again, trying to lengthen that upper hamstring area that gets really tight, and then exhale, fold forward. So you can do this as many times as you want. Inhale to lift, and exhale to fold. And each time you should feel like you can fold a little bit closer into your legs. Take as much time as you want. 
If it feels really good on the lift, maybe you're listening to some nice relaxing music, you can go ahead and hold in that, breathing through it. And and it I mean, it's really, I'm sure that you guys have all heard of dynamic movement and how much more powerful it is in, in creating the mobility and the flexibility again than just holding something for too long. Now from here, we're gonna grab one hand to the outer border of your opposite foot. From there, you're gonna pull that hip back along the mat or along the floor, and we're gonna take a rotation. You're gonna draw your shoulders down and lift your ears up, so you're trying to lengthen the back of your neck in two directions. All the while, rotate your rib cage towards that back hand. From there, we're gonna stretch up to the sky, lengthen from your waist, and drape over forward. Grab that opposite foot on the outer border of your balls, your toes, and rotate to the opposite direction. And Shoulders down, ears this up. This is like one of my favorite stretches. Me too, we yeah. What doing here. I mean, you get the length here and twisting, and then when we, we reach up, like, oh, to the side. It's like the best wake up ever for the body. And I love it because it's a really dancey sort of stretch. Mm -hmm. Rotate. Float it up, and once again, you can hold these as long as you want. It feels really good in one spot. And last one to the opposite direction. And by pulling that hip back, you'll get a deeper hamstring stretch. You'll be able to sit up even taller, stretch up to the sky. We're gonna fold back, forward one more time. Grab those feet, lift up. Sometimes it helps to open the feet. You can get a little taller, a little longer through your hamstrings. And then fold all the way back down. And then slowly stack it up all the way. We're gonna turn back towards you, and this time we're gonna open both legs out to the sides. So we've done one at a time. Now we're ready for both. Sitting up nice and tall, and just pointing and flexing our feet. Once again, it's all about the posture, holding your corset in. If you need to use your hands behind you to help sit you up, your focus is really trying to sit up as tall as you can on this. And then from there, let's point and hold our feet pointed. We're gonna stretch out and take a big side stretch over, reaching down that leg. Really try and stay open through this so you're really stretching the fibers through the side and you're not collapsed, but you're really open and long. And then float up and over. And these are things like so many people do crunches, but these are the lengthening kind of ab moves and the twisting that we just did that create that tiny waistline. And detox your core and help you go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do. Good. On this one, let's go and flex our feet. You're gonna place your hands down. From here, we're gonna open our chest. And if you can, you wanna try and stick your booty out. Now this might be really difficult to do. And if it is, just stay right here and keep trying to just kind of reach your sit bones back behind you. If you're a little bit more flexible, you can walk your hands forward, but only as far as the pelvis leads you. You're this trying to get an you arch. Work you're twerking. Yeah, you can pop it. <laughs> Breathing up, so I like to hold this for a few breaths, and then release down into this stretch. If your head doesn't touch the mat, you can go into a nice little seaweed sway, once again, moving through all those different tight fibers. If you're a little bit more flexible, you can even reach down and hug the floor. Really up to you. Even though I'm a little bit more flexible, sometimes I like to stay <laughs> up and do that little seaweed sway. I think I might get stuck. <laughs> Don't get stuck. Go slowly into these stretches and out of them. We're just gonna walk to one side, try and square off our chest towards that leg, and lean your heart, scooping your abs back, pouring your heart over, dropping your head towards your knee. And then we're gonna gently walk over to the other direction, over to the other leg, one hand down on either side of the leg. You can even lift up a little bit to really try and square off, and then lean into that leg. And we'll go back to the center. And I like to do that two to three times, really taking your time on either side. We're gonna lift it up. Always come out of these stretches really slowly. You always wanna hold stretches for at least 30 seconds for it to do anything. Minimal, all right? From there, we're gonna lean back under our forearms. Mm -hmm. And really slowly allow your legs, I'm gonna move out of your way. <laughs> And slowly, always slowly out of those deep stretches. Squeeze them together, arch up, lift your sternum, go into a little fish pose. Energy down through the sit bones, up through the heart, out through the toes. And then we're just gonna press up, rotate the shoulders around, fold it forward. 
And we're gonna finish up with my favorite working on our forward splits. All right. So on all fours, hands and knees to start. I like to work through all those different parts of the forward split so it really gets you a little bit deeper into it. So knees totally together. We're gonna extend the right leg. Let's start with the right leg. Straight back behind you. You're gonna flex the foot. Now I like to kind of pull my ribs in and round my back up as I place my foot down. That way you can press into a calf stretch and your hands are still directly underneath your knees. From there, keeping the support of your abs, reach the other leg back to meet it, find this position. From there, we're gonna pike our hips up and back into our downward dog. You can adjust your feet a little bit forward if you need to, pushing your hips back. Go and have your legs together. Reach that right leg straight up behind you. Reach it up, up, up. You're gonna bend the knee to your nose, come forward into a plank and hold. Take your time to turn that leg out. Try and reach that foot to the inside line of your opposite hand. And then that opposite leg's gonna reach back as you go down. Now let's just hold this position. You wanna be mindful of your position here whenever you do a pigeon stretch. You wanna make sure your knee is to the outside of your body and that front foot should be lined up with the opposite hip. From there, I like to lean into, if that right foot, right leg is in front of you, lean your hips to the left and twist your chest towards that front leg a little I bit. I love just kind of, that. Yeah. Because I think sometimes you just, this starts to turn out so much and you really miss the stretch yeah. of your quadricep and you only get it here. Yeah, and it really deepens into that glute stretch there. And it's like, is it true too, like as you work at this flexibility, you try and keep getting the shin a bit more parallel? Yes. Like yours is more parallel than mine. That's your ultimate goal, is to have that shin actually parallel to the front edge of your mat. Yeah. From there, we're gonna go down into a sphinx pose, so down onto your forearms. Work in progress. Yes. I always like to go slowly into this, so once again, you're working through all those different tight fibers rather than missing them. So grounding into your forearms, press into them and kind of push energetically back with your hips while your head reaches forward. That Feel how that energy stretch so yeah. much just by pushing back a little bit because you settle into it and right. then that activates that muscle which will help with release too. That's Posture great. and abs deepens great. everything, whether you're doing an exercise or a stretch. From here, we're gonna take a long inhale, exhale, widen the elbows, stack the hands, and pour it over. Now, there's a, this is a position that you can take as long as you want to how you hang out in. Once again, all, at least 30 seconds. Sometimes this can feel really intense and it can be hard to release. If it is, you wanna put your focus into something that you can focus on. So I like to think about my core scooping in like the undertow of a wave and imagine your head and chest pouring over that. So you can put your focus in, into that energy to allow yourself to stay a little longer. From here, we're gonna lift up. Lift up nice and tall, stretch it back, adding that arc. Here's a moment if you wanna work on your pigeon variation, you can, but for, for today, we're just gonna lift up Send our weight back over our back leg. We're gonna flex our foot and open our chest. Really finding the length in two directions through the leg as well as through the spine. From there, keep your abs connected in. Almost squeeze your glutes in so you're keeping your hips really squared and slowly begin to slide out towards a front split. Now what you're focusing on here is not only your abs pulling in, but you also wanna focus on just your hips staying squared. You don't wanna just flop down into it. You only wanna go as far as you stay squared. Even if you're used to doing the splits and you're used to going really far down, I see a lot of women that are like, go down into splits and boom, they're there, but when I pull them up into a squared position, it gets into these hidden fibers that they don't even know about. As well as me, because I think from ballet, oh, yeah. even this kind of tight, but you could, you know, we were trained to right. do turned out. I can easily go time. down yeah. and lift my foot up, but right the now I'm getting such thing. a deep stretch. Yeah. So just a rock from side to side. So once again, there's all those different fibers that you want to get into, so it's good to kind of move around in these stretches. I love how she adds the rocking and everything too, because you really feel it everywhere. Yeah. And again, it's dynamic mm -hmm. So from here, you want to lean to your opposite hip. So if our right leg is in front, we're leaning to the left. We're going to twist our chest towards that front leg. From here, I even like to pull that front leg back an inch or two and twist a little deeper. It actually takes it into your IT band a little bit more. You breathe through this, once again, for as long as you want, but at least 30 seconds. From there, we're gonna point our feet, and this is where you get to have fun with it. If you're a little bit more flexible and you wanted to go into that slit, here's your chance. Then you can kind of sit down, not focus on so much of the squaredness and the perfectionness of it, but just kind of go down. If you wanna fold into your front leg a little bit, you can now. Even if your hips are up, maybe you wanna try and lean forward. But before we come out of it, we're just gonna lift up with an inhale, stretch it back, point our toes, and then slide out of that completely. 
sit up, just find yourself nice and centered, and then you're ready to do the other side. Thank you, Romy. So that was the amazing stretch class that I've been coming to for years and really making a dent in my flexibility. I was so tight when I first started this. Make sure you repeat the last stretches on the other side yes. and try and add this in at least once a week, but to really see those changes, I recommend um, a couple times a week and holding those stretches, like you're saying, for at least 30 seconds. Yes. But everybody needs this type of class in your life, so make sure to add this into your workout routine and check out Ballet Bodies online. Thank you. Thanks.